नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते शमला दीदी नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन जी नमस्ते सुनील जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम लेट अस स्टार्ट अ शेयरिंग जी दीदी सो टुडे वी हैव वन शेयरिंग इन इंग्लिश एंड वन इन हिंदी आल्सो फ्रॉम 6:00 सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद द गीता पोटराज जी दीदी शेयरिंग नमस्ते गीता दीदी माइक इज पास टू यू नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते शर्मिला दीदी नमस्ते टू एवरीवन So, Didi, I will put your brief introduction, and then you can place your sharing within twenty minutes. So, uh, we all know Gita Potraj Didi, very active member, uh, very active volunteer in the South Central region. Didi is an associate professor in the Institute of uh, Public Enterprise, Hyderabad. She attended USP Introductory and USP Two in two thousand twenty-two. She attended. uh she attends weekly meetings regularly and she takes uh, some uh, volunteering roles in the in those uh, meetings also okay. she prepares the minutes of the meeting of for the uc meeting uh, she assists in usp newsletter preparation with abraja didi and there are many other uh, connect activities of usp and she attends the morning session very regularly so with this uh, brief introduction let me welcome geeta didi for her sharing in the morning session मॉडर्निबैड <laughs> Um, so i will straight away go to the second point that is uh, sharing my understanding emerging out of exercise 1 and 2 so after participating in the morning session and after going through exercises 1 and 2 i can see some changes in me which i would like to place before all of you i've just jotted them down as points so i would start with saying that these exercises have helped me to look at myself much more carefully i think i am looking at myself uh, much more uh, intently now uh, and i'm gradually developing the ability to look at uh, myself like how i am feeling how i am thinking etc these things i am kind of looking at myself earlier i was not doing that earlier geeta for me i what i was was someone who failed many times in many of the ventures i did i succeeded sometimes i was liked by some people i was disliked by some people i disliked some people i liked some people that is all geeta was i was for myself but now that's not the case anymore i am kind of uh, also uh, maybe spending more time on uh, observing myself and looking at other issues i am not caught caught up with these things now anymore so that is one very very important maybe i have kind of prioritized things i am they are not in my priority list who is liking me who is not liking me who i am liking and all that is not in my priority list the second thing which i can very clearly uh, see is that these exercises have helped me to also very uh, properly look at myself as a composition of two units self and body they are now uh, that has kind of uh, changed my way of looking at things and uh, uh, with this uh, actually this has come as a uh, information uh, for me that you know but this has gradually helped me in uh, making a perspective so these exercises have helped me to see that self and body are the two units which i am made up of i know that i am made up of these two units and so are others so now i am looking at myself differently and uh, i know that i am self and body and others are also self and body so what has happened with this is i think i was always looking at the differences for me before 
uh, there were a lot of differences when I was looking at myself and, and when I was looking at others. Um, uh, they are uh, uh, rich or they are big, they are connected. I am this or I am that. So some of those kind of things were how I could relate with individuals. But now there is a common ground. I know that everybody is made up of self and body. So this fundamental um, struggle has settled down. So I'm now not, in, not uh, actually that worry has also um, is gone from me. Irrespective of whether they are my family members or outsiders with whom I'm interacting. So this, uh, this thing is not there. Now I know everybody is, the commonality is now much more uh, predominant in my mind than the differences. So maybe that is also one of the reasons why I feel much more calmer and much more settled. And the third thing which I see is now I'm able to, because of these things, maybe I'm able to acknowledge my relationships better. Because earlier uh, I used to feel dominated by my mother-in-law. I don't, I don't like to even discuss these things now because that I have kind of, um, not looking at it like this but earlier for me like I was somebody stuck in that and I was being uh, directed to do forced to do so many things but now it, it doesn't remain like that I'm able to acknowledge my relationships as they are and I'm enjoying those relationships I feel connected with my family members um, much better than what it used to be before I wouldn't say that everything is resolved but this is uh, this has now taken a much more important place in 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 my day to day living uh, like i see the glass half full as everybody says i know that i am enjoying them not looking at the other part which is not there then the fourth important thing is earlier i used to have or uh, some lingering feeling inside of irritation unhappiness some something that was not very uh, that wouldn't make me comfortable i was doing everything uh, as expected uh, i was doing my household work i was taking care of my family i was doing my official work i was doing everything but what i was feeling inside was uh, not a comfortable i was not at ease with myself constant some lingering unhappiness inside maybe i think now i after going through uhv then maybe unfulfilled desires uh, some failures dejections uh, maybe some successes see all of them i think have uh, my sun scars uh, all the, all of them i think have uh, played the role in um, this uh, situation so now they seem to have reduced considerably because I'm looking at things differently. And uh, as I engage myself in the UH, UHB activities more and more, um, I'm finding that things are uh, resolving uh, considerably. Uh, so there's a larger period of time now uh, when I can feel calm and settled. This lingering feeling is uh, not there with me. It comes once in a while, but not always. I'm not in that state always. So, uh, these are broadly I have uh, observed uh, after doing the, uh, in, in these two years, in 2022, I started. So um, that's how I feel right now. Uh, the third point is how many steps are you, are you able to see yourself clearly? So I would like to say that in exercise one, I was very much at ease uh, while doing exercise one. And I actually loved doing this exercise uh, from the very beginning because I thought I was able to observe my feelings during the process and I can kind of felt motivated that I was... Uh, able to do it and then I enjoyed doing it with a lot of enthusiasm I uh, did these steps mm, uh, 
being aware of my imaginations, feelings, thoughts, expectation. This is happening as I feel that this is happening many more times during the day as I carry out my day-to-day -day activities uh, right from the morning. I'm able to kind of keep a watch for a longer period of time about how I'm feeling. Especially where the, the, when there is some disturbance in the um, inside, I'm very Im quickly able to catch that. Sometimes even before the disturbance is coming and simultaneously I'm able to catch that. Even when my... Uh, this ha something is changing inside uh, I can also catch before it is you know actually coming out so that situation is there um, so even before some disturbance happens I can kind of figure out that oh I'm feeling the changes uh, the feeling inside is changing and I'm getting some uh, not a very comfortable space I'm going so I can see that and um, is the feeling that you have at this moment naturally acceptable to you? So early morning when I'm attending the morning session and um, I'm simultaneously cooking and doing all that uh, um, work because by 7.30 I have to, uh, 7.30, 7.45 I have to get into the bus and all this. So I'm kind of doing all these things. And um, so uh, very, very interestingly, a couple of days back when this, the summer was... Uh, Actually, the sun was uh, very bright these days uh, for the past 15, 20 days. So one day I was, uh, this is the time when I do some kitchen work and uh, simultaneously I keep hearing. So around 6.37, the sun rises and the, when the sun rises, uh, the rays actually fall directly on my eyes when I'm standing near the window. From that window, the sun rays come, exactly fall on my eyes. So when I'm totally engrossed in whether the uh, food is ready, the dal is ready, the rice is ready, and I'm listening in one on, in one place, I'm listening. So all these things when I'm doing, and suddenly the sun rays, one day they fell on my eyes, and I felt so irritated. I thought, uh, I didn't say anything, but I said, Are, it's so um, hurting. But then the minute I realized how important these the sun rays are for me, for my life processes, the minute I was aware of that, then suddenly that irritation went. I thought it was so interesting that just now I felt irritated, but I realized how vital it was. And then uh, I actually um, I, I pay my um, respects to the sun. I usually uh, fold my hands before the sun in the morning and the evening. So I said, see, even uh, how my reaction was because I was kind of immersed in something else. So. I'm looking at these things and also enjoying. So I'm able to stay in harmony for a longer period of time during this, the day as I already shared that. Uh, of course, there are some times when uh, things are not the same, but most of the time I'm able to be in harmony. And I'm also aware of the fact that I take the decisions of how I'm feeling and it, it's entirely up to me as to how, how I accept situation. This is true, um, definitely true. I, I, I'm able to see that. Yeah. On what basis I'm deciding the feeling? Uh, I'm not sure at this point of time if I take decisions based on right, based on right understanding because, you know, I'm not sure with, with uh, it's too early. I don't know whether I have developed right understanding or not. But I'm looking at this possibility that I'm maybe now aware of the fact that all of us are seeing. That's why I said, maybe I am feeling that uh, um, sense of similarity with everybody. There is fundamentally, I'm, I'm feeling connected that way. And maybe that is giving me that comfort space. I don't know. I'm not sure if I have developed right understanding what are the parameters for that and uh, how do I judge it? I don't know. But... Maybe I'm looking at what are the commonalities. I'm feeling more connected, more at ease. Maybe that's how it is. I don't know. Didi can tell me whether I'm right or wrong. Are the feelings naturally acceptable to me? Earlier, as I, I used to be in conflict uh, most of the time. I uh, never fought. I was not the fighting type. But in inside, 
those things will go on. Nothing will be outside. So um, I used to be, uh, the conflict used to be there due to, I think I saw the differences most of the time that they have taken up, taken away my things. I am, uh, I have taken away theirs. So there's a competition. There's a struggle. That, so those kind of things are, were there. So now I know that everybody is the same. The, that person also is self and body. I was, what's the big, big thing I am struggling about? So that struggle is not there. And so UHV exercises have helped me to acknowledge the reality. So I, I'm kind of now seeing that this is what is uh, the most important thing to uh, observe and not the other ones which I spent most of my life looking at. So this is what it is. And um, I'm also able to feel a sense of harmony within myself and a sense of relationship with everything around me, not not just people. I'm, even if I'm standing or traveling in a place where there are only trees and uh, where people are not there, even then I have this uh, good feeling, uh, which I'm observing. Maybe I used to have it before I didn't know, but I'm able to see that even if I am in greenery, if I'm going somewhere in, in the natural environment, where the natural environment is much more predominant. I'm feeling good. I'm able to connect well. This is about exercise one. Exercise two, um, I was not able to get connected to exercise two very easily. I keep <laughs> lamenting about it many times as I got connected to exercise one. But now, after I have joined the health group with Charmila Devi uh, and after learning about the basic uh, constitution of my body, I think I was not very aware about, I was just eating, uh, doing my, this, I think I was not even aware of many of the things. I think I was actually not aware. But now after joining this uh, health group, and after learning so many basic things about how my body is made up of and studying about the principles on which the body is governed. Uh, so I am uh, see, I'm able to uh, understand uh, the, the body as a unit much better than uh, what I did before. Certainly, this is this has given me a, a very good uh, view. So I'm able to now accept myself as my body, uh, and I'm accept able to look at these two units much more uh, with clarity. And I think what has now, uh, because I am now uh, in the the age group, I think where I'm kind of growing older each day and uh, the speed with which I I used to do things, the, 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 the response that I used to quickly do so many things, run around and do everything, that is not there. Now it has changed. My briskness has reduced. My ability to do many things have reduced. But now that I am aware of the reality, now this after understanding um, the body as a unit and how things happen, the basic principles and all that. So it, this is not creating any anguish. I don't feel bad. I think growing older also, I think this has happened to me at a very nice time when I'm myself seeing my abilities reduce. Um, but I'm not feeling bad about it. I'm looking at it very um, nicely and I'm trying to gracefully understand what's happening because I see many older people who are so uh, who get so irritated because I think I, I used to see my father um, very angry sometimes not because he uh, he was a very loving guy but I think his inability uh, in the old age made him uh, kind of irritable because he couldn't do things much on his own so I think my <laughs> This is going to also help me in the future when uh, much more. So I'm looking at this as a natural process and um, I'm trying to understand. It's not bothering me now, all these things. So 
as I am able to, I told you that I'm able to see this two realities about self and body and this is the basic unit of existence. Um, I can see that I am the one who decides about the instructions to be passed to the body, especially um, because when there is good food, um, I, I myself cook well. So when I have cooked something or somebody brings something from outside and I like the food, and the food is before me. Though I, um, Sharmi tells so many times that when the growing uh, uh, individuals who are growing, the growing age, they need more uh, nourishment. But a person, I also sometimes eat like uh, a person who is growing old, uh, who is just uh, developing. So at my age, I think that much food should not go. But sometimes when I see favorite food, I'm the one who will jump and then finish off uh, most of the things unknowingly, more than my capacity to digest. So uh, that's something that I'm very much and consciously. So I can stop myself sometimes nowadays. Uh, while uh, seeing that I'm not the sensation, so I'm able to see this uh, sensation in various parts of the body. And I'm also able to infer that I am different from the sensation. Because when I have some, uh, usually, some, uh, and when I'm e I have sometimes overeaten, uh, that uh, if I, in the morning, sometimes in the college, there is, there is a meeting, there is some uh, uh, lunch they serve, so they make very heavy food. I usually avoid because I can't digest uh, heavy food. But sometimes I feel so tempted when I see paneer ka sabji and all that. So, and I eat it off. And then by evening, my abdomen <laughs> starts paining and I feel very heavy in the chest. I, I used to get very much worried earlier. But now I know that I have eaten. And then in the evening, I will not eat. I'll drink some buttermilk or I'll eat some half roti just to satisfy myself and something like that and I, I'm managing uh, so because Sharmila Didi in that meeting health, she, is, she tells so many times that if in a mixi you put more food how it will come out so I know my mixi is full now it can't digest so I should give some space so that everything comes out and then I can fill it this much of uh, thing I'm able to do so and uh, uh, re regarding the um, seventh point, I'm in coexistence with space. The body is in coexistence with space. I think I'm still not there. But I do feel a sense of relationship. As I, as I uh, mentioned earlier, uh, I, I feel everything is uh, um, nice. The feeling of uh, being in the in, in comfort zone. I feel in, in uh, uh, quite comfortable wherever, uh, not just at my residence, uh, because I'm familiar with this place. Even if I go to a place which is not familiar to me, which I haven't visited before, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm not feeling um, uh, uprooted. I can see, uh, I can feel uh, good. I, I can get connected with the surroundings. So there's not much struggle there. Coming to the fourth point, happiness is your innate nature. Um, of course, uh, I'm very sure that um, this is how uh, it is it's an innate nature and uh, after understanding this uh, both the units uh, self and body which is the essential components for our existence um, only when there is self-regulation if I am able to have self-regulation take care of my um, body with proper uh, intake, 
proper exercise keep myself physically uh, fit take care of my feelings try to understand uh, be aware of my feelings if i can do both these things then uh, because these are in my hands if i can do these things then uh, there will be ha harmony so naturally it is in my hands to be aware of uh, these basic fundamental principles and then uh, follow them uh, and be aware of them so that i can uh, be uh, happy and in harmony uh, most of the time so broadly this is what uh, i have to say sunil bhaiya about the very nice. Yes. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, can sharing. Bit of bit of uh, elaborate, but uh, you have covered. I think all the points, all those points which you could see, which you could not see, very nicely. So looking at the time limitation, though there are a few many hands are raised now, but I uh, request Shambhala Didi to give her comments and remarks regarding uh, your sharing. Shambhala Didi, over to you. Thank you. Ji, Namaste, Gita Ji. Namaste, Didi. Nice to hear your sharing today. Um, when did you say you started UHV? Didi, uh, Feb uh, February 22. Uh, I did the first, uh, I did everything online only. So first uh -huh. online uh, workshop I did online. Nice. Yeah, so um, I think uh, you probably had been doing some, some sort of um, um, introspection perhaps um, earlier also maybe um, the fact that you are able to do the explorations you know observe the feelings become aware of your state within that was very nice to see um, uh, like Sunilji was saying it was very candid you were able to see some of the things um, I think um, it is now time to go a little deeper. I think uh, that possibility you should start looking at the some of the steps in exercise one and two, which go into more depth. Uh, we kind of skip those steps, if you noticed. So you can go deeper into those, like step five of exercise two and so on. So you will find uh, that this exploration can go deeper and you can uh, you know um, see more details within yourself um, so this I would encourage you to of course continue with the explorations continue with the exercises continue with the volunteering work which you mentioned has been very useful to you about that question regarding right understanding I think I would say that we are all in the process of developing right understanding. We may not be there yet. We may need to work towards completeness of right understanding, but we are all in the process somewhere. Um, so I would say all the very best of wishes. Due to shortage of time, I think I will close here, but we can always talk outside of the session. All Thank, the very you. Thank you very much, Sharmila Didi. Thank you very much for the guidance. Yeah. Thank you, Shamla Didi for those comments, helping all of us for sure. Uh